What is going on guys? So today we're talking about the Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. Now I just got this as an upgrade to one of my previous mice, so I'm pretty excited about this one. So this is the next generation Hero Sensor, which delivers precision tracking up to 16,000 DPI with zero smoothing, filtering, and acceleration. Uh, you can arrange three different weights on this thing, so that's pretty cool. You can kind of customize the weight of the weight of your mouse so you can kind of get your, your perfect fit. Um, this has Logitech G Light Sync technology, which is full RGB lighting, which is pretty cool, and 11 programmable buttons on here, which is absolutely fantastic, and one of the main reasons why I bought this. So let me pull this out of the box, let's take a look at what it looks like, and uh, get this thing fired up. All right, guys, so here's the mouse. Now, I go, I like wired mice a lot. I, I really don't trust wireless technology and I don't like charging stuff. So I always go with a wired mouse. This is a wired mouse, standard USB-A with a nice, really long braided cable. Um, it's got, I, I liked it when they include these little uh, Velcro straps here so you can kind of do some cable management if you need to, which is great. But there's the mouse. This thing looks super, super mean. So really nice matte finish on the outside. You got some glossy texture spots here. You got a really nice scroll wheel that's got a very tactile scroll, which is really cool. Um, you got some buttons there that are programmable. You got a few other buttons here. Um, you got a nice rubberized grip so it's not a textured plastic it's actually rubber you can actually kind of push your finger into this it's actually a rubber texture which is nice so it's going to be nice on the grip there and you've got a few extra buttons here um, to kind of customize so lots of customization options here um, and then you've got your regular you know left and right click um, you got your, your little your uh, your little sensor right down here on the bottom and then this is the basis of what that looks like and then it comes with this little case this is the case that includes the weights so let's pop this guy open here um, and you can actually see the different weights here. So you got different, um, you've got a 3.6 gram. Uh, these are all 3.6 grams. And so there's different shapes for different locations in the bottom of the mouse that you can kind of customize the weight of how your mouse feels, which is really, really convenient. And I like the fact that they give you this little cool little carrying case with the Logitech logo on there, which is pretty sweet. So let me, uh, let me pop, pop up in the bottom and we'll take a look at where these uh, weights are housed. Now on the bottom here, you're gonna find this little plate just pops right open, and that is where you're going to have your weights. This is where you're gonna be able to customize your weights. So let's try to take a look at how these guys go in here. So um, you've got these ones, which are shaped in this configuration. So those are gonna be in this, in this mode here. So you can put these guys right in here. Um, you can kind of put weights wherever you want them really, which is nice. So you can, you can kind of determine where the weight goes. So if you want it kind of weighted towards the front, you can put them up there. You can load this thing up completely. You can put them off to the sides over here. You can put them in the back or the front. So really you can kind of customize how heavy you want your mouse to feel and kind of and where really, right? You can kind of play with that whole setup. So I just put them all in there. You snap this back on and you're ready to go. And so now this, this, this mouse is significantly heavier, which is awesome. So if you like a nice weighty mouse, I particularly do. So I'm probably gonna leave it in this configuration, um, but it's a pretty sweet thing. So let me plug this guy in and give you guys a little look of it, uh, the software. Now it's the Logitech software that actually takes this mouse to the next level, right? The control that you can do on this mouse is really, really impressive. So hitting into the app, this is what the Logitech software looks like. I'm obviously using a G613 keyboard as well. My battery is pretty low, so I might need to take care of that. Uh, but then you get the G502 Hero, which I now have plugged in. Click on this and you've got a bunch of different options here. You've got your sensitive and your DPI settings. This is a really cool feature and a lot of people I don't think use this enough. So you can set whatever different mo modes. So you've got four different settings for your DPI that you can cycle through using the buttons on the mouse. Um, this one, the one that is highlighted in yellow is the DPI shift. So there is a dedicated button that will automatically switch the DPI when you're holding it down. So for example, if you're playing an FPS game, you're using you know, 1200, 1000, 650, whatever it is that you wanna use. I play on 650, okay? So I've switched down to 650. This is the DPI that I usually play on. Then if while I'm playing, I'm ready to pull a shot off or I'm getting engaged and I wanna shoot somebody at long range and I wanna turn that DPI down even farther to help assist my shots and being on, I can hold down the DPI button and it switches it down to that whatever setting. Uh, for the moment, when I let go, it goes back to where it was before. So very, very convenient. On top of that, you get your, your key button, your key assignments is where you can go through here and kind of change the settings of what all your keys do. You can customize every single one of them, uh, even the side ones on the side there, which is great. Um, and then you've got your lighting abilities. So you can change the logo lighting or the primary lighting. You can turn different effects. You can sync lighting zones. You can change colors. You can do cycles, breathing, screen sampler, all sorts of stuff to really customize this mouse to make it your own. So on top of being able to change the weight and the feel of it, you can also make sure 
sure that the buttons configuration is exactly what you're looking for. So guys, as you can see, the G502 by Logitech is a really powerful mouse, especially when you've got the software um, and the customization abilities of this mouse. Not to mention, it is a gaming beast. But guys, as usual, hopefully this video was helpful for you, and I will see you in the next one.